Hello everyone, I am James and today's video is about the review of this solar street light. Actually I had installed it around 50 months ago and it's working fine till today. And this video is about my observations of this street light or you can say as a review. So this street light, it works fine. That is, if the sky is clear and there is bright sunlight from morning till evening then it will take or say the backup of this will be uh, at 100 percent brightness it will work only for three to three and a half hours uh, full time 100 percent brightness so now if you want the lifetime of the light to be more then you have to keep it in automatic mode and 50 percent brightness if you keep it at automatic mode and 50 percent brightness then the light will work up to morning 6 6 30 up till the sunrise or you can say up till sunrise so if if you keep the led brightness at automatic settings automatic mode and 100 percent brightness then the light will go off in between the night that is around 3 to 4 4 am between 3 to 4 am the light will go off uh, what this denotes is the battery is good the battery backup is good but the charging panel it doesn't have some sufficient efficiency uh, i tested it because what happened i kept the for light for in automatic mode i kept the light in automatic mode for 50 percent up to three days and on the third day third evening what i did i kept the automatic mode in automatic but i switched the brightness to 100 percent so when i switched the brightness to 100 percent after two days of keeping it for 50 percent brightness then the light it worked up to morning when i checked it in the morning around six o'clock the light was still bright at 100 percent so this shows that the battery has the capacity to keep the light going for long period but the solar panel does not have sufficient efficiency for charging the battery only in around 10 hours that is from morning to evening for full brightness of sun so if the clouds if there are clouds if there are clouds are bright then it will charge and it will work up to night 12 12 o'clock uh, at automatic mode and 50 percent brightness if the clouds are dark like completely dark and it is raining whole day not one or two hours if it is the clouds are dark for maybe more than four or five hours and they there is rain then the light it will it will go off by at around 10 o'clock 10 10 pm in the evening or you can say night so these are the observations and one more thing is we need to keep the panel clean so as you can see here there is too much of dust if there is dust accumulated on the panel then again the efficiency will go down and uh, the, the light will not work for much time so try to mount it at a height where you can clean it so this light i have mounted it from the ground it is at the height of 16 feet so if you mount it at around 10 feet uh, you can keep a two-step ladder and you can clean it and uh, now this light i am cleaning it every one month or two months once in two months so it gives me good efficiency good brightness or from 15 months i'm using uh, i didn't face any problem till today and only the one more thing is when the battery goes low the light does not switch off it goes on becoming dimmer and dimmer yeah that means that the battery is deep discharged so what happens is the next day when the sun comes up and it starts charging and after fully charging again in the evening what happens it will go to the normal mode that is automatic mode but with 100 percent brightness the brightness settings is not saved so and the one more thing the most which i like is the the switching on and off time that is if even if there is little light little sunlight the light does not switch on it keeps on charging it switches on only when the sun completely goes down and in the morning even when there is little bit sunlight the uh, the light goes off and enters into charging mode so here what i observed is 
even this light is not turned on in the evening but the street lights are on manually which the street lights of the colony which are controlled manually are switched on and in the morning also automatically when the sun is up this street light switches off light switches off enters into charging mode but the other street lights are still on consuming more power and wasting the power so this one is good i have not connected any electric power to it till today 15 months and in 15 months it has faced all the sunlight up to 40 degrees it has faced the uh, rain and lot of wind as well one more thing i'd like to tell is if there is any tree beside the light as you can see behind me there is a tree so what happens if wind blows and the branches of the tree shake that time the light will go on and this also reduces the backup of the battery so if the wind continually blows then the light will does not does not switch off this is what happens so see that when you are mounting it mount it in such a place where there is no much unwanted movement of tree or cats or anything and once it switches on it remains on for a few seconds and it goes off by itself it does not go completely off it enters into 10% brightness and again if there is any it senses any movement then it will switch on the brightness goes up to 50% or 100% which your brightness you have set as to the remote control and also the sensing part of this is very good the radar sensing it is uh, it works in 360 degrees i suppose because even when there is some movement at the back side of this light also the light switches on so hope i have covered all the points and many of few of them they have commented that they wanted to know how many batteries are in this light so here let's disassemble it and check i'll show it to you and what else i need to say and this light when i had purchased it was cost it costed me around 1799 indian rupees but now if the price has come down to 1400 indian rupees so i think it's not a waste of money from 15 months i have not asked the you will see you see a street light beside me there is a street light in the video you can see it i have not asked the municipal corporation to install this light the light is going on in this light itself so we can say that we have saved 35 to 40 watts of power uh, 10 hours per day for 15 months So this is the battery there is a single battery So here you see this is the on off switch so power switch this is the remote sensor and these are the LEDs So this is the power radar sensor. So let's fix it back. There is no much thing to do. There is no much thing to show in this light. LED panel
the circuit charging and sensing etc all is controlled by only one circuit and this is the battery i don't want to remove the battery because it is fixed glued let me not remove it as per the specification it is of Seven, seven by eight. So seven by eight, it will be fifty-six LEDs are there in this panel. I don't know how the set has entered inside. The heat sink is not so thick because the brightness is not too much. The brightness is so. Let me check the voltage of this battery. So let's check the battery voltage. Three point two volts. It is. It needs to charge because now it's morning, around ten o'clock, ten a.m. So it needs to charge up to evening. Then the voltage will come up to three point seven volts and five thousand milliamps. So let me fix it. So that's all. If I come up, if I remember any of the other points, then later I'll make one more video and come back to you. Hope this video is going to be helpful for you. If this video is helpful for you, kindly hit the like icon, share the video, and subscribe to our channel if you're not yet subscribed. Thank you for watching, everyone. Have a good time.